I've been driving trucks since 1998. Uh, I've traveled all over Europe. Uh, I've been to Greece, I've been to Malta, done a bit of Germany, Scotland, Ireland, Spain and Portugal, obviously. This is my life, this is all I've ever done since, uh, well, I think I was 19 the first time. It's not, uh, it's not what everyone likes, but it's, for me, this is my life. So what's the problem now? What's happened in the last couple of months that's meant that you haven't been able to work? We've been working pretty well for the last couple of years um, after Brexit was announced without many, many problems. I always thought that we would some, at some point come to a stage where we would have problems, obviously when, when everything's finalised. But I wasn't expecting last week on Tuesday to go to the frontier and get told that I could not go out with my truck. I was told that I needed some sort of permit, which I've tried and asked, and I know there's many people trying to help me in this, but it's been over a week, week and a half now, and we're still no further. This is having, obviously, a big impact on my company, because I am the only driver, and neither can I take pallets out or can I move cars for, for Toyota? And it's just becoming very hard now. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, other haulier companies have Spanish drivers driving for them. Uh, is that an option for you? No, not really, because I jump from one truck to the other. And obviously, if both trucks were working constantly, maybe that would be an option. But the fact that they're not, and that the car transporter is right-hand drive, and it is a specialist tool that not many people want to drive, that would be a, a definite no. With the, with the curtain cider, the problem is we haven't got the constant work for it. That's why uh, we haven't employed anyone or grown anymore. It was working ideally for me. You know jumping from one truck to the other, one day one thing, next day another, you know, it's, it worked for me. But obviously it's not happening now. What would you like to see happen in the coming weeks and months? Oh, I just want to go back to work. If it takes two months, if it takes a month, what will be will be, you know, I just want this to finish so I can make a living. I mean, I've got a family to feed, bills to pay, and obviously financially this is just, you know, it's killed me. It's as simple as that. I mean, I, I will keep trying and many companies locally are trying to help me to give me local work, but there's only, there's only so much you can do with big lorries. You know, it's not, it's not a van. So I'm, I'm stuck between the door and the post, really.